Hey what's up guys, this is Everest from Run3 and welcome to my channel. Before we begin, don't forget to press that subscribe button, click the share button, and give a comment in this video. And for today, I could not much um, give you guys this video. I could not tell you how much you want to ask passer questions. And how much you want to ask the question about the exams in law school. Uh. Because I could tell you how my subscribers, you guys, and other junior, had a request for me to watch this video. Okay? And sepatutnya, right now, aku ada banyak assignment tau, berlambat gila assignment. Aku tengah stress, aku depressed, aku sedih gila sekarang ni tau. I don't know how to think, think properly right now. But then, esok pun aku ada kelas pagi tau. Kelas, kelas online, virtually. Time-time COVID ni ada kelas tau, pening kepala aku. Tapi, in the end of it, I'm doing this guy, I'm, I'm doing this video just for you guys. Because why? You guys mean everything to me. I hope that you guys are feeling very well. And you guys are the source of my inspiration, the source of my motivation, and the driving force for me to move forward. And aku memang harap lah, in this video, I can be able to really help you guys and give you a starter before you enter into law school. So, first and foremost, ini, this is the way or the method on how you are going to be answering your past year questions. So let's, ju let's just jump right into it. So in this uh, document, in this Windows uh, page, you will be meeting up with the word ILAC. All right. So this is the most important thing that you have to know when it comes to answering uh, law questions. Aku tak tahu lah, SEM 3, SEM 4 dan SEM atas guna lagi tak ILAC ni. Tapi aku SEM 2 degree law tau. So, uh, kita orang still guna ILAC ni. And SEM 1 pun guna ILAC time degree. Dan korang akan guna juga ILAC time foundation in law juga. So, ILAC is really important when it comes to answering uh, exams and pass your questions. So, we are going to be starting off with ILAC. So, ILAC ni, what does it stand for? ILAC stands for Issue Law Application and Conclusion. And we're going to go right into that. But first, sebelum kita apply, sebelum kita guna ILAC as it is a guideline for us, kita will be given a question. So, this is a question that we have here. This is a question that I made. So, we're going to be reading over it. Alright, so let's start. Amina is, Amina is selling some chocolates and then Rashid then wants to buy them. Rashid asked her of the price and she said that it was RM5 ringgit. Later that day, Rashid wants to get the chocolate, but Amina said that she had sold them that she had sold it to someone else. Rashid wants to claim against Amina as there was already an acceptance and a binding contract. Okay? So usually by the end of the question, they will ask advice Amina if there was a contract or not. Alright. So the scope of the I like okay kita sekarang ni tengah jawab soalan contracts okay it is one of my favorite subjects uh, because in the future I really want to become a lawyer that has an expertise in banking corporation employment business and banking so aku pun fikir kalau aku jadi lawyer in that field mungkin banyak duit kot maybe lah maybe banyak duit kan alright so kita akan jawab soalan contracts subject contracts menggunakan uh, format ataupun menggunakan a uh, guideline I like me alright so we're going to be answering some uh, contracts punya um, question so macam first kali kita akan bagi ke issue so issue ni stands for I I stands for issue so setiap kali korang nak jawab soalan uh, past your questions you have to start off with the word weather alright and dalam subject contract, korang kena belajar banyak benda lah, banyak elements lah dalam SEM 1. Contohnya, offer acceptance, certainty, capacity, um, un, um, consideration, uh, mistake. Banyak lagi lah, banyak gila elements lah yang korang akan belajar dalam contract SEM 1. So, korang dalam SEM 1, korang start off dengan the first elements. Dan korang akan belajar benda yang sama balik dalam SEM 1 degree. Okay, so bila korang start foundation, korang akan 
you'll be immediately introduced to the words offer and acceptance. Uh, okay, offer and acceptance. But me, adalah the basic construct of a contract. Benda yang paling asas untuk membuat suatu perjanjian akhirnya. Kan? It's just ijam and kabul lah. Okay. Contohnya, kan, korang jual pisang goreng lah. So, korang offer nak jual Ko offer, maksudnya aku Ko off, ok, ada orang jual pisang goreng Kau offer Nak bagi duit kat dia Dan bila dia accept Dia akan bagi kau pisang goreng tu Faham tak? That analogy So, offer bagi duit Acceptance, dia bagi kau pisang goreng ha, Macam ni lah That is the most basic benda yang Paling asas dalam suatu perjanjian Ini contract So, soalan ni Kalau kau baca Um, kalau kau lampak kataan um, Selling ke um, Kataan acceptance dalam soalan Soalan tu Secara automatik korang tahu Ini soalan ni pasal offer and acceptance lah Kiranya kan Okay So Okay korang start whether uh, There is an offer and acceptance lah Okay So bila korang dah siap tu Korang akan go into the law part Law stands for L Which is law Dalam dalam bawah ni Korang kena letak um, Cases uh, Korang kena letak um, Sections Ataupun nama lain dia Provisions Sekali dengan Illustrations lah Kiranya Okay So those are the most important things You have to put in law lah So case Kalau korang nak tahu Benda tu adalah case Case tu biasanya Dia akan letak nama orang dengan dengan ada kataan ada huruf V kat tengah so the names before the V can either be be the um, before the V is a plaintiff and then the words um, after the V is the defendant so plaintiff adalah orang yang beri saman yang orang yang kat belakang ni adalah orang yang kena membela diri diorang daripada kena saman lah kiranya so dalam bahagian law ni Korang kena letak case Dan inilah adalah case dia Dan dalam case ni Korang kena letak facts Atau iaitu cerita Or the story of the case And then secondly Under the case You have to provide them With the help and principle So Case Carlin and Kabrolik smoke ball Is the first case That you'll be ever introduced Into contracts Con- uh, uh, um, Case yang paling awal lah Case yang mereka akan show you bila korang baru start contracts so sangat penting untuk korang faham case ni lah ok so facts ni adalah cerita ataupun the story of the case so treat a case ni adalah apabila carbo- carbolic smoke ball dia macam company lah dia jual ubat medicine so whoever still suffers or succumbs to influenza could be paid a hundred pounds or a hundred dollars ah. Case ni berlaku kat England lah tersilah so, Tak ada simbol pound tak apa lah So, Mrs. Carlyle Orang yang bagi saman Okay, yang kat sini Yang bagi saman carbolic smoke ball Dia still Suffer influenza Dia masih ada influenza So, dia nak pergilah claim yang hundred pounds tu lah Jadi, hundred pound tu Uh, the company Carbolic Smoke Ball cakap Yang £100 ni Ialah suatu kontrak Ataupun suatu offer That is not made to the whole world And does not express Their in- true intention As it as it is only a puff So help Ataupun principal ni Adalah How do you say this? It is the verdict or the judgment of the court Suatu um, Apa yang dalam selayu lah Tapi apa yang dalam apabila kes tu dah habis mahkamah akan bagi dia punya judgement ah pasal kes ni so ia akan dipanggil sebagai help ataupun principal lah and then court kata an offer is made to the whole world and it is a intention for it to be legally binding once offer given and the offer accepts it becomes binding alright sekarang kita dah siap law kita kena letak provision juga ok kita kena Oh aku terbalik Aku terbalik sebenarnya Sepatutnya Letak Sections dulu Oh korang pergi ke case Sebab Malaysia kita ada Akta kontrak tau We have a uh, Contracts Act Contracts Act 
ช่นะวงไฮไลท์นี่โอเค contracts ish contracts act 1950 alright so contracts act นี้ act นี้เอ่อพยายามคนนั้นเต็มอ่ะยังไม่ใครใครแต่รับไป offer a l a s t section to paragraph A of the contracts act uh, of the contracts act okay aku ing aku tak ingat lah apa dia cakap tapi dia lebih kurang macam ni when one party signifies his willingness to do or to abstain from doing he is doing an offer ha, so ni lah ni yang benda yang penting lah bau lah korang bau 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 lah korang pergi ke case ok bau lah korang pergi ke case sebab case ni akan terangkan uh, apa um, ak akta ni lah ok ni is the Malaysian lah Malaysian act sebenarnya kita tiru akta India sebenarnya it's perimateria with the Indian Indian penal uh, not penal contracts act ok sebab banyak, kebanyakan undang-undang ke Malaysia ni kita tiru banyak daripada India lah so kita ambil undang-undang India lah sebab kita Malaysia dengan India dua-dua negara yang pernah kena jajah British lah kiranya kan so bila korang dah habis sections, case korang letak kat application so macam mana nak apply korang kaitkan korang kait rapatkan law tu dengan the application so in this case kita kena faham soalan ok Rashid ke apa Rashid dia cuma tanya tau tengok kata ni ask for the price kalau kau kalau kita tanya korang, korang rasa kita ada intention nak beli ke benda tu orang yang dengar pun fikir um, orang yang dengar pun rasa macam fikir lah kalau kita, kalau kita tanya orang yang macam jual pun fikir yang kita cuma tanya bukan ada niat untuk membeli benda tu so sah-sah lah kita ada intention sah-sah kita ada, tak ada niat untuk beli coklat tu so application dia in this case Rashid had only asked for the price of the chocolate which is only an inquiry Amina only gave the answer or reply to the inquiry therefore there was no offer and acceptance ok ni lah jawapan dia kat application dan korang kena kait rapatkan dengan uh, section 2 paragraph A dengan case carbolic spoke ball in section 2 of the Contracts Act 1950 <coughs> sorry if Rashid wants to buy the chocolate he must show his intention and signify it if he ans asks a question he does not intend Uh, or ataupun tak ada niat untuk beli coklat tu sebab kau tanya soalan kau tanya soalan tu kau tak ada niat untuk membeli tau ok and um, there was no acceptance there was no acceptance by the defendant ataupun carbolic smoke ball by by uh, Amina sebab sebab because dia cuma jawab soalan dia the question dia cuma jawab soalan ok dia tak accept dia tak bagi dia tak terima pun duit daripada Rashid tu ok this lepas tu korang letak lah case carbolic pula untuk terangkan lebih lanjut carbolic in in carbolic smoke ball eh carlil carlil and carbolic smoke ball alah tu buang lah carbolic smoke ball It is evident and conspicuous that 
an offer must indicate the intent and that it will be made to the whole world. Alright. Now finally, kurang kana jawab conclusion. So in conclusion, there was no offer and acceptance between Amina and Rashid. So hence there was no contract at all which is binding and enforceable between the two parties. Alright, so that is pretty much it and uh, aggressor. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Aku doakan korang banyak-banyak supaya korang berjaya and succeed in life, dapat achieve your goals and ambitions. And aku really hope that you guys can pray for me and wish the very best for me so that I can get a lot of subscribers. I, aku boleh dapat anugerah Knight Chancellor. Aku dapat Dean's List every semester. Okay, aku really hope that you guys dapat result yang terbaik dalam UPU. Uh, results yang baik dalam SPM uh, Apa-apa saja lah yang kurang impikan You guys want to reach in life Because everyone has their own goals and ambitions And I really respect that And thank you guys again so much for watching this video And kalau uh, kalau kurang masuk UITM think, uh, UITM Sya'alam Jangan lah, jangan sombong, tegur lah aku eh <laughs> Aku memang lonely and very Aku memang tak ada kawan sekarang ni tau Okay So yeah Thank you guys again for so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Have a nice